the book of Titus. And I, I always like the book of Titus. You know why? Because there's a lot of good information in there and it's short. Okay. <laughs> so if you got like 15, 20, a half an hour and you, you, you're looking for a book to read, you can go to Titus and you can read that. And like I said, it's enjoyable because there's a lot of good stuff in there too. Uh, but what we're going to be looking at today is in Titus chapter 3. In Titus chapter 3. <laughs> and we'll start in verse 1. But uh, the Apostle Paul is writing here. And he, he's writing to Titus, but we can, take it, we can take advantage and apply this to ourselves too. Um, and if you would, in Titus chapter 3, starting in, book, in verse 1. He starts and says, put them in mind to be subject to principalities and to powers, to obey magistrates, and to be ready to every good work, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another, but after the kindness and love of God our Savior towards man appeared, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us. By the washing and regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which is shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life man that's a good verse it doesn't need a whole lot of explanation but it just gives us the attitude that the Lord Jesus Christ had towards men and how we are to have that same meekness and humbleness and understanding that the Lord Jesus Christ had towards us to other men also and that love that he showed for us let's go ahead and open in a word of prayer Heavenly Father, we thank you again for the words that we can read and we can trust on the page. And Lord, we thank you for the grace and mercy that you have showed us, not according to what we do, but according to what Christ has done for us. And thank you for that. It's in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen. <clears throat> 